We are going to demonstrate proper mixing procedures of Masterflow 648CP plus epoxy grout. Please note that this mixing procedure will apply to all of our epoxy grout line to include 648CP, 678DP, and 668B chalk grout. Required equipment needed is a variable speed drill, a jiffy style paddle, and a paddle wheel mortar mixer. Mixing the resins. Open containers part A and part B. Part A resin, part B hardener. Pouring part B in a steady stream into part A as demonstrated to minimize any air entrapment in the resin. Place mixing paddle into the bottom of the can at an angle. With a variable speed drill, mix material slowly so a vortex is not created. A vortex will draw air into the resin. Mix resin for approximately one and a half to two minutes to a uniform amber color. After resin has been mixed, you should be able to clearly see the bottom of the pail indicating minimal air entrainment. Adjust mixer speed to half throttle or approximately 40 to 60 RPM. Disengage mixer paddles. Pour mixed resin into the center of the mixing hopper, leaving the can upside down to allow resin to completely drain out of the can. Then add three bags of aggregate. Prior to adding the fourth bag of aggregate, engage the mixer and add the fourth bag. When starting the first batch, only use three bags of aggregate. This allows the mixer to be coated with resin. Subsequent batches will be four bags. Mix product for approximately 45 seconds to a minute or until the dust clears. Dump material into a wheelbarrow. If one is not available, turn off the mixer and wait until one is available. It is highly recommended a pre-job conference be held prior to the placement of the material to go over the equipment requirements and procedures.